Russian Defense Minister Army General Sergei Shoigu held talks in Moscow with his British counterpart Ben Wallace. During the meeting, the head of the Russian military department said that the situation on the European continent is becoming increasingly tense, and it is not Russia's fault. I welcome you in Moscow, at the Defense Ministry. The military and political situation in Europe is becoming tenser and tenser. And it is far from our fault. We do not always understand the reasons for these tensions. Nevertheless, we see it growing, said Sergei Shoigu. Shoigu said he hopes the meeting will allow to discuss topical issues of reducing this tension, as well as our proposals to the United States and NATO to ensure security in Europe, which we sent in December and received a response in January. All of this has now been reviewed. I think our response will follow in the near future as well. The head of the Russian military department noted that he had carefully read the speeches of the British defense minister and his colleagues before the meeting. Unfortunately, we still, we still see in every speech, through the line, threats of sanctions. I would not like our conversation today to be a continuation of this kind of interview, Army General Sergei Shoiga said. During talks with his British counterpart, the Russian defense minister suggested that Western countries contribute to reducing tensions in Europe and stop supplying weapons to Ukraine. For our part, we would also like to offer our contribution to reducing this tension and stopping the supply of weapons to Ukraine. It is being done from all sides, and it is being done publicly. It is being done in a demonstrative manner. It is not quite clear what for. I would also like to understand why Britain, the United Kingdom, sends its special forces to Ukraine, and until when will they be there, added the head of the Russian Defense Ministry. Sergei Shoigu also expressed concern about the possible use by terrorists of weapons left by Western coalition troops in Afghanistan. I would also like to recall the sad experience of pumping weapons into individual states. Let me remind you that nearly 80 billion U.S. dollars worth of weapons were left in Afghanistan not too long ago. If we talk about javelins, anti-tank guns, more than a hundred of them were left in Afghanistan. If we speak about man-portable air defense systems against aircraft, more than 150 of them were left, said the Russian defense minister. According to the head of the Russian military establishment, all this certainly poses a threat today, taking into consideration the fact that only recently the number of ISIS fighters in Afghanistan has doubled. And it is difficult for us to understand where and in which hands these weapons will end up. We would not like this topic to fade into the background. So would the topic of refugees from Afghanistan. Nor would we like the topic of drug trafficking from Afghanistan. According to Sergei Shoigu, today we are seeing more and more concentration, inordinate concentration on issues that, in our view, could have been resolved entirely calmly in dialogue between all countries, without the threat of sanctions of one kind or another. Already in my opinion, there are no words left in English or Russian dictionaries that can denote these sanctions. And catastrophic, and shocking, and destructive. There are many different words, stated the Minister of Defense of the Russian Federation. Sergei Shoigu also reminded Ben Wallace that today's meeting between the heads of the Russian and British military departments is the first in recent years. Unfortunately, the level of our cooperation is close to zero, and is about to cross the zero meridian and go into minus, which I would very much hate. Therefore, I very much hope to have the opportunity to discuss with you the most urgent issues. Without any escalation and raising the temperature even higher in the relations between Russia and the NATO bloc countries, and especially with the United Kingdom, taking into account the historical experience of our cooperation and military cooperation, the Russian Minister of Defense said. For his part, British Chief of Defense Ben Wallace expressed his willingness to discuss pressing international security issues with the Russian Defense Minister for the sake of reducing overall tensions. We, as defense ministers, must be determined to combat insecurity in our world. I hope that your speech today begins a relationship that has been almost nil, he said after Sergei Shoigu's opening remarks. We can address several of the issues you raised in your speech. The British minister said that during the meeting in Moscow, he was ready to address the issues that the Russian side raised in draft documents last December. 
We can try to go forward and resolve our issues through diplomacy and other measures and through common confidence-building measures, Ben Wallace added. He thanked for his willingness to meet at such a volatile time, which does not benefit our nations or address threats and challenges such as terrorism. The British Defense Secretary hoped to discuss Ukraine, Afghanistan, as well as counterterrorism and other issues of mutual interest during the meeting. I hope that we can have an impact on the climate, on the economy and on migration that could reduce overall tensions, Ben Wallace said. The British minister also said he laid a wreath in Moscow from the British government at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier, stressing that he remembered the sacrifices the Russian people made during World War II and other previous wars. I laid a wreath as a former soldier. I have seen many soldiers die beside me myself, and I would not want any other soldiers to die in the future, either in Europe or elsewhere in the world," Ben Wallace added.